a small protest with big demands to see less guns on the streets. Since Hamas's attack on October 7, more Israeli civilians are now armed. A drive pushed by the National Security Minister and backed by the Prime Minister himself. I don't feel safe right now. I feel less safe because there are weapons everywhere. And I don't trust people who don't, uh, don't use really weapons and just going out to feel, I don't know, maybe brave, maybe secure themselves, but I don't know. Security Minister Ben Gavir is granting gun licenses via phone interviews. So it's no surprise that when someone with his hands up is shot, the answer is, that's life. This is a culture of death and it's an existential threat to us all. War is not a time for lawlessness. That's Life was Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's response to the killing of Yuval Castleman. An armed Israeli civilian who tried to stop Palestinian attackers who opened fire on people at a bus stop. He was shot dead by an army reservist despite putting his gun down. The presence of many armed civilians saved the situation and prevented a major disaster. It happened dozens of times before. So we should continue this policy. I definitely support it. We may pay a price for it. That's life. The Israeli government allowed the fast tracking of gun permits earlier this year, but it's since changed the rules again. More than a quarter of a million Israelis have applied for gun licenses in just two months. Before the war on Gaza, a hundred approvals were given a day. Now it's 3,000. And the person behind all of this is Israel's national security minister. Itamar ben Gavir, seen handing out tens of thousands of weapons to civilians, angered the US that threatened to stop sending Israel small firearms. And the head of the gun licensing authority resigned in protest over what he described as the minister handing out guns like sweets. Many Israelis believe they'd been abandoned by their government and military left to fend for themselves on October 7, believing that had more civilians been armed, perhaps more lives may have been saved. And so shooting ranges are fully booked, a trend that doesn't look like it'll be ending anytime soon. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera, Tel Aviv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.